Hello, hello. I want to show you a quick way to turn maps and keyword lists into a struct in Elixir. So we have a module here, user defined. It has a struct with name, age, and email. So let's grab a map. In this case, let's say we have a set of attributes, name Frodo, age 35, email Frodo at hobbiton.com. I'm going to go send that to my IEX session. And now what we can do is use the struct function, pass in the user and the set of attributes, and that will return a user struct with all the attributes there. Now, what happens if we have an attribute in the map that doesn't belong in the user? So let's take a look at this. We have these attributes now defined and that has an admin false. So what happens if we create a struct? This drops the attribute. As you can see, it still creates the same struct. It doesn't include the admin false. It just ignore, ignores it. You could say that sounds kind of surprising, but don't worry, we have a struct bang option that will fix that. So let's take a look at this again. I'm going to define the original attributes, the correct ones. And now let's use the struct bang version of the function. So struct bang, we pass in the user and the attributes. I'll send that over. That works just the same. But now if we have the attributes with admin false, if we use the struct bang, now that raises an error because the key admin is not part of the user struct. So pretty cool, right? But not only can you create structs, you can also update them. So let's take a look at this. I want to define some attributes again create the user struct. This time I'm going to assign it to the user. And now we can use the same struct function to change the age, for example, right? That's basically equivalent to updating with the other way, but I think it's a pretty cool way to create and update structs. Hope you like it.